we have arrived to Loch Ness. It's right behind us. Do you see the monster? I think I see it in the background over there. <laughs> actually, huh. I don't know. Um, so we're actually going to be driving the entire length of the lock going to where our next spot is. Um, so we're not going to stop here forever, but we're going to look for a pull-off and have some lunch maybe and just drive the entire length and enjoy and, and keep an eye out for Nessie. I think we're going to find her. We're going to be the ones. times and heard it multiple different ways so yeah we also don't have service right now so I can't look it up we do try to look up pronunciations <laughs> except uh, the, the Duquesne in Pittsburgh got past us and that was a pretty bad pronunciation um, so however you pronounce it it literally means the folds of the earth and that's why it looks the way it does um, it's super windy so hopefully this is coming out on audio uh, we just finished a five-hour drive from Aberdeen um, but it was absolutely incredible. Isle of Skye was at the top of our stop list, so this is exactly what we wanted. It's also about 40 degrees cooler than it was yesterday, which is what we packed for, so uh, this is beyond incredible. Absolutely gorgeous. We're hoping to make it to at least several other stops today, and then we've got a another full day planned here tomorrow. Yeah, it's currently 3 o'clock and we just got to our first destination here on Sky. So we're going to see as much as we can and then head to our Airbnb, which is actually about two hours away from here. So it'll be an evening pulling into the Airbnb, but we wanted to take advantage and see as much of Sky as we could. But it's a very cute Airbnb with a gorgeous view, yep. so we'll be showing that. That will be the first Airbnb <laughs> tour on this trip. Our second pit stop on the Isle of Skye is to this beach here that is known for dinosaur footprints that are embedded in like the stones on the beach. Um, 166 million years ago, Megalosaurus, is that the plural Megalosaur? Megalosauri, maybe. <laughs> um, used to roam the land here. And we were wandering all around looking for for these footprints. Apparently there's 17 total, but they're kind of hidden. Um, and then we realized, you know, bam, right by where we parked the car. Yeah, car's over there, One literally, is. right there. <laughs> and there's the first footprint. What do and you think of that, babe? And we think the others may be down there, but we can't really get there right now. Yeah, they're so. they're tidal dependent, so water's might a little high. But yeah, Candace is standing next to a footprint of a dinosaur that stood there 166 million years ago. Besides that. All right, so now that we've seen the dinosaur footprints, we're gonna head to our next stop.
here on the eastern side of the Isle of Skye and we have made it to the Old Man of Store and Candace is going to tell you a little fairy tale. <laughs> so the story behind the shape of the rocks behind us that we're hiking to is that a giant was chasing a fairy one day and he was running so fast that he turned to stone and it said that the Old Man of Store is his petrified remains of the giant. See if we can find the fairy that made the giant into the stone. Uh, this is a giant hike. There's also like a hike that you can walk to. It's like a 20 minute viewpoint. So that's the hike that we're gonna do. But the whole trail is like three and a half miles, takes about an hour and a half or so. That's not the one that we're doing. We're doing the quick version. Bride's Vale, Bride's Vale Falls. Falls. Not Bridal Vale Falls, which we have been to in Washington. And there's also another Bridal Vale Falls in Oregon. I think there's a lot of Bridal Vale Falls. Yeah, probably because it's a white Bride Vale. Makes sense. Yeah, so one more stop for Sky for today and then we will be heading to the Airbnb and back to Sky in the morning. made it to the last stop of the day, which is Bride's Vale Fall. It's literally just a roadside pull off. There's not even a sign, but about really, a 10 foot walk. Yeah, it's a really beautiful waterfall. So like we said, this is our last stop today, but we are exploring more of the Isle of Skye tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And we have a really unique way that we are getting to the Isle of Skye tomorrow from our Airbnb. So we'll have to see what that is. Yeah, you're definitely not going to want to miss how we get there tomorrow. See y'all in the morning. Thanks for watching Riley Roams. Please subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our travels. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave us a comment below about your favorite part of this video.